I genuinely have been wanting to watch this trailer for so long, and I'm just ready to dive into it. So, like, let's just get into it. Oh, wait. Is it, um... Sorry, 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 sorry. I gotta just, like, 1080p this bad boy, you know? See, this is what's crazy about it, bro. See, you can turn the lights off. That's actually so nuts. You can't hide from me. <laughs> see him in the background? You can't see him, but he, I'm covering him, but he's in the background. I literally conceptually hate all of that so like here's the thing about this game i i already know for a fact it's going to be so Johnny, crazy you, you ever take pictures of it when you're done i, I, I do it, it's real fun hey yo okay wait we gotta i gotta we gotta redecipher this hold on, okay hold on hold on hold on so here's the thing here's the thing the fact that you already start taking note of a lot of the stuff that starts happening, you it's very it's it's so undeniably clear that you're not supposed to get caught. Cause obviously you already see it here in this moment. Like you're a survivor hiding in like essentially a locker, you know? Like you are. You're in a lot, you're in a locker or closet, something that like you're hiding. Okay? And he literally is like revving the chainsaw this guy is another killer and he locks the doors yo imagine being in a house with the doors locked and you can't actually like look up you know or, or just open the door and like bash it open kind of up you know what i mean i think that's wild like yo he caught him inside of a freezer lock like he, okay you're you're definitely a survivor and you try to hide in this and he can open check and peek these on will 100%. And like they have these crevices that this is this this crevice is clearly like a way to like um to get away like the killers can't go through here obviously. You know what I mean? They can't. But the problem is is that there's more than one killer, right? So imagine that you go through here and then you're playing as Bubba and then it's like, "Oh shoot, like he went through the crevice, I can't get him." And you're another, you know, and you have a teammate killer who's like, "Okay, cool. I'm on the other side." And then, and then they're waiting for you there. Imagine being stuck between two killers in this in this little freaking crevice. You know what I'm saying? I think that's wild. I would I would literally be incapable of functioning if I knew that that was the case. See, cuz again, wait, I got to go back and check that again. Hold on, hold on. See? Cuz you can already see in that moment that like where is it he like you're literally crouched behind a doorway and the okay so like i feel like the, you see these like skeleton things right here these things are definitely meant to alert the killer if you're kind of running throughout the map so if you're running around you're making noise and i'm pretty sure there is some kind of like audio detection system in the game that's established for the killers if you're literally being too loud so these are obviously here with that exact purpose to like specifically tell you to you got to play the game slow. And I think that's what's going to add to like the insane horror of the game is that you have to play it slow. Now, of course, if this game to some degree, however, shape and form, if it does somehow get competitive or people start playing some kind of hardcore style of it, then, yeah, people are going to want to try to figure out how to like play the game and and speed run it in a way you know what i mean but i think that like you kind of sort of can't because i feel like the game will literally like wreck you if you try to be quick through this uh through this kind of gameplay so if you're literally sitting here crouching behind a wall watching him like potentially catch you inside of a locker um so like i think that's nuts and they just there's an outside i think that's even crazier is that it's not 
it doesn't just play, take place like outside the house or inside the house. It also takes place like outside the house, you know. So, and and like Loki, this this part right here is my favorite part of the entire video. The fact that you turn the light off right there, the fact that you can literally turn this light off. Look at how fucking creepy as hell this map is. Or this this room all it, this room alone by itself is very freaking eerie. Um, I I literally don't like. I I think I'm more so in amazement how eerie is how it's so freaking creepy. You know, like you're obviously in here, and it's not a, there's like not a good reason to be here. You know, like you're not here thinking like oh yeah like this is a summer vacation let's just like figure it out or like you know you're not just walking in a forest, and then you're randomly just like here. You know what I mean? Like you, they, you know, something happened, lore wise or whatever that it is, and you're you're here, right? But like, you're in this house and you gotta get the fuck out, but you can't because there's people running amok, potentially ready to murder your face off. So, anyways, this concept of the lights turning off thing is it's such a small detail, but when you think about it from like an extensive uh, perspective, you actually learn already through this trailer that there's so much that could go on while you're progressing this so like like i said the fact that you can turn the lights off the killer can turn the lights on and you can turn them off and i think that that's going to make it more visually difficult for the killer to navigate the room and kind of look in and see that oh like is there anybody here that i have no idea but at the same time though if you turn the lights off then you also kind of give the killer an awareness idea of like, oh, somebody was recently here. I didn't turn the lights off. That wouldn't make sense because I think the killer needs to turn lights on, obviously, because like they can visually see better, right? But if you turn it off as a survivor, then you turn them off and you can't be seen as easy. So literally, this function alone is wild that you can just turn the lights off. And then this this looks like um like a catacombs like underground of the house. But because you hear Bubba's chainsaw in the background, it does also seem like to me that um there is kind of like a hook. Like, you know how in DVD, if you get hooked, you can get unhooked? I feel like this is the scenario of, like, getting unhooked. Where, like, you have to escape Bubba in the basement who's running at you faster than you run away from him with a chainsaw. Now, how does it work? I have no idea. But from what it looks like to me is, like, you literally have to escape him. Oh, no, wait. What was that? That was, um... Yeah, that was him escaping from the... Whoops. That was him escaping from the basement, see? But again, though, you have the bones thing here, right? And literally, this lets you avoid... Like, I think you have to avoid him, and there's got to be some kind of exit that you can, like, reach. And by reaching that exit, I'm pretty sure that's going to allow you to, like, get back in the game, kind of. Because it'd be really bad if, like... It'd be really bad if you die once already, and then you're just dead dead, you know what I mean? Like... There should be a way for the killer and the survivor to be equal advantage and disadvantage, but at the cost of like whatever the fight may boil down to, sort of thing. So I think this this looks like to me like a scenario where like if you get caught by the killer and they get and you get downed or put into the basement or whatever, like it's not just a traditional like they, they kill you kind of vibe. So I think here's what I think. I think that like Bubba, Mr. Chainsaw Boy, right? Like he's he's the only one who can like actually kill you like you you get murdered by him so i think like not every single killer has the capable chance of being able to like commit to the murder button and catch you so i think the smaller people like you know there's one person who um will try to like limit the survivor's options of traversing the map and surviving and then there's one person whose job is to put them in the basement and there's one person's job to kill the person in the basement or or, or wherever that it is um so that's what this feels like to me and i and i really like that because if one person had this if they all had the same powers of being able to like you know capture and kill then i feel like that would definitely be like a little too op so because again like if it's a cooperative uh experience of doing like you know playing hide and seek and tag like like in the manner of speaking like if they all had the same power then i feel like that'd be it would be op you know but if they all had to work differently from each other, but as a result, forcibly work together, then heck yeah, I think that'd be so crazy. Uh, so I like that a lot. And 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 like, look, you see, this is him. This is the killer running around looking for you. But look at look at her right here, crouching and hiding in the bushes. You see, 
Like, yo, you have to be very... And the problem is, like, the, the trailer so far to me doesn't really give an immediate indication of, like, what the objective is to escape. But it's obvious you have to freaking escape, right? But how is, un- is uncertain. But it's very, like, it's very chaotic how well it, how it functions. And the fact that you can open a door and then he can hide behind this is actually really crazy. Um, and it's very clear that you just you just don't get a chance. Uh, and same thing here. I mean, my camera's covering it, but there's a guy right here hiding right behind the uh, the wall. And this is another teammate. And then you got caught by him here. And then he automatically hits you with like a combo. Right. But it doesn't look like it's enough to kill. Or maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't look like it does though. Oh, you see? Okay, that might actually have been the hint right there. So it looks like you have to open this. But this doesn't look like you sit here and hold it, kind of. Like it looks like you press this, you press this switch, and you got to activate like a certain number of those, and that. Because like, if you think about it, if you can escape, if you can be outside of the house, then like you know why not just like leave the house? You know, you just you just run out of the way and get it to the street level. So there's clearly a lot more to it than just like you know, uh, getting out of the house, since you can be outside also and be like in their front yard type of ordeal. So. But that switch definitely says like, oh, there's something else that you have to do in order to escape the house like in full. But like you still can't get caught and you still can't kill. So like you're literally just stuck there trying to sit there and figure it out basically, which uh, like I said, I like that a lot. And I think even more so too, like right here, watching him literally like chainsaw this door open is kind of nuts. I don't know who that guy is, but that guy looks fascinating. Busting out windows. And then for you to be able to like freaking be chased like him, you can see him too. He pro he progressively gets faster. Like he he progressively gets faster and 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 gets more aggressively like happy to get re you know re get ready to catch you kind of vibe. So I like this a lot. Oh, is this when he says the quote and that's it? Yeah. Okay. So you see, this game is gonna be so wild. And like I think there's there's definitely gotta be another gameplay video out there somewhere for sure that kind of like dictates like what the game genuinely and actually like looks like but i don't think that there is anything um that you can find with like ease but i know that the three killers there's been like teasers and hints being tossed around um and dare i say there was like a closed early access like just look into the game sort of um and they very clearly showcase that like you're you're supposed to be freaking quiet um and so I don't want to necessarily make any kind of comparisons to to like a game like DVD and that kind of thing. But I think that like it's going to end up being made because the games just seem so like thematically and like gameplay wise so similar. And I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to be able to play a game like this, knowing that like it's it's designed to be like an actual horror game experience. Because like if you look at slasher, mil like slasher movies and whatnot, like. You know, like they're scary, but like they all, it's also very gory and very crazy. And this game kind of adds a good mix of the two, but there's still that, that really weird fear factor. So I don't, I don't really know what else to expect, but I definitely got to find some gameplay footage somewhere and take a closer look at the game because I'm telling you now, when the game comes out, it's going to come out this year and it's going to be so, so, so good. Um, cause there's no beta, there's no alpha, there's nothing right now. I need this game to come out ASAP so I can play it. Like that's just a, the simple answer to that, like real talk. So here we are. <laughs> this game can't come soon enough.